Hey, Juice Squad, welcome back to my episode of Airs and Warfin. So, today's episode, we got this cool amazon um, right here, and basically, what this is is a high quality Japanese chef knife. And you see the one that we got right here is from this brand. And here is basically what the package looks like when you guys first get in. Let me actually open up to show you guys what the inside looks like. All right. So once you guys open up, here's what it looks like inside. So first thing inside right here, they do probably guys a user manual to teach you guys how to maintain the product and how to use it. So they even explain to you guys the material that's on here in terms of the knife that's provided for you guys. And the back part right here, they teach you guys how to maintain it and how to clean it. But right underneath that, you can see we do have a protection layer. So we have to take it out. Right underneath that, we do have the actual product and we also have the cover as well. So take everything out. All right, so right here we do have the cover. So basically want to slide your knife inside right here when you guys are not using it. But right here we do have the knife. So take out the wrapper first. All right, so once you guys take it out, here is basically what the knife looks like. And you see the material that's on here definitely looks and feels like a high quality material. Like if you guys tap it, if you guys can hear the material that's on here. And then right here on top, we do have the brand logo. Right here, we actually have a very nice handle that will give you guys a good grip when you guys are using it for like chopping stuff or slicing stuff. And when you guys turn it to the side right here, you can definitely see how sharp the knife is. And when you guys take out the protective cover, you can see how sharp the product is, especially on this end right here. And then here is the other end. So pretty much when you guys are not using the knife or when you guys are done, you can slide it inside right here really easily. So just like that, and it's all set. So that is basically everything that's included for the product. Now let's test it out to see how it works. So let's say you guys want to cut this piece of paper right here. And you see how sharp the knife is. It's so sharp to the point that I barely even use any string to kind of cut through it. And it went through so easily. Let me do it one more time. All right. So definitely see how sharp the knife is when you guys do use it. So you definitely want to be really careful when you guys do use it for like slicing stuff, where there's like fish, or if you guys want to cut like seafood, or if you guys want to use it for making like sashimi or sushi, it will definitely work pretty well. And I do want to mention when you guys are actually using it, it does give you guys a really good grip. It really does feel like a high quality knife that's used for like a restaurant or just at home as well. But that is basically everything that's on the pata. Now that we can boxing and test some pata, now to answer the question of whether or not it's actually worth or not. So for this product, I do have to say that it's pretty worth it if you guys want to need one of these. Especially if you guys are in the market looking for a high quality Japanese chef knife that has a similar design as this one right here and works the same way as well. Then I do have to say that it's pretty worth it. <laughs> but then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one or have one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else that you do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.